here we go. We got a fish on, and I'm just out here drifting in this deeper water. I pulled out here, drove around, used my sonar, trying to find uh, some larger catfish and, and bait, looking for active feeding fish uh, on my fish finder. And it took me a while to find them, and the ones that I did find are real scattered. So I just kind of threw my drift socks out, started covering water. This is a pretty good fish. It's got some shoulders on it. And um, we had lots of little bitty bites, but weren't really getting uh, good, you know, any real good bites. They were just pecking at the baits. So I downsized my baits just a little bit and uh, nothing changed. So we'll see if that makes any difference. It's taken me a while to get it up. It feels like a, like a pretty good fish, not wanting to come up off the bottom. And uh, this water's good and, good and warm, so he's nice and feisty. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. fish grips here. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Oh boy, he's fired up. Um, you know, I'm gonna put this fish back in the water. I'm gonna weigh him real quick before I put him back, just so we know what he weighed. But I can't begin to stress to you enough if you're gonna fish for these big catfish or catch these big catfish, how important it is to put these fish back in the lake. Cause it takes a long time for these fish to grow, to reach these sizes. Oh boy, he's angry. He wants to go. All right, buddy, you're loose. Good times. Ice out. That's how you catch a big catfish. <laughs> 